An elite athlete since age 14, Morgan Stickney lives to swim and thrives on competition. And while she's not easily daunted, she knows what she's up against as she gets ready for Tokyo. Like, obviously, I want to be up on that podium, but all I can do is just try my best every single day and give it everything that I have. And at the end of the day, then I have to be happy with how I did. Like many athletes, her Olympic dreams started early. But when a rare vascular disease meant getting her left leg amputated in 2018, any hopes of going to the games were dashed. Instead of wallowing, Stickney quickly pivoted and set her sights on the 2020 Paralympic Games. But then a second amputation of her right leg the following year brought everything to a halt. GBH News met with Stickney in November 2019 at Spalding Rehab, shortly after her second amputation. Even then, she was already talking about getting back in the pool. Nothing will stop me from getting back in the pool. My goal is to go to the 2024 Paralympic Games. Um, I'll be in a different classification this time, um, but that doesn't change anything. But Stickney, like the rest of us, didn't plan for a global pandemic. And when the International Olympics Committee announced last year that the 2020 Games would be postponed, she found a very bright silver lining. And I was like, oh my gosh, like I actually have a legitimate shot at going to Tokyo. Bear in mind, this was only six months after her second amputation. She was still healing, her legs still tender, but there was no turning back now. Everyone was so upset that Tokyo got postponed here. And then there's this little girl over here that's like so excited that she might actually be able to chase her dream. And so when I found that out, I just like put my head down and I started grinding and um, working hard like every single session. It paid off. Morgan Stickney there though, she's gonna say never say die, I think on this race. That's probably an insurmountable lead that, that Morgan has, has built. In April, she placed first in the world in the 400 meter freestyle race at the World Para Swimming World Series swim meet in Louisville, Texas. After that, it was the Paralympic trials in Minnesota. And then the phone call she was hoping for. Morgan Stickney. We're going to Tokyo. <laughs> Morgan Stickney will be competing in the 400 meter and 50 meter freestyle races at the Tokyo Paralympics in August. All the while, she is still getting used to being a bilateral amputee and it can be painful. My legs will like rip open from the touch pads from doing flip turns on them. <laughs> But, um, I mean, that's just something that you suck up. There are only two other American double amputee elite swimmers competing in Tokyo. They're veteran para-athletes, and Stickney views them as her competitors and role models. Their legs are a lot more matured than mine are. Um, so everything I've learned from them, I've watched YouTube videos and everything, and I've just, like, analyzed what they do, and then I try to do it myself. Um, some things that they do, I can't do because my legs are just so new and so fresh. So then I have to find a way to do it um, differently. But she's not sweating it. She's used to doing things differently. And right now, she's just really excited and grateful.